Hi guys, how's it going? And today we are back with another match day vlog. Today we are back in the most prestigious competition in England, if not Europe, and if not world football. It's the Papa John's Trophy. Things you absolutely love to see. Uh, West Ham under 21s at home, I believe we've already qualified for the next round. So it is literally a nothing game taken to the next level. Yeah, there's nothing really to predict or to kind of preview at all. It's, it's just one of those games where it's good experience for them. And hopefully, you know, we're going to put out a squad that's going to hopefully get a few minutes in our players' legs. I'd like to see, you know, a bit of Sam Boot on I believe he's going to be in the squad. I'd like to see Tom Bradbury start. I'd like to see Oli Yinka get some minutes back from his injury even though he's definitely starting 11 in the league quality. Um, Sean McDonald, I'd like to see him between the sticks as well. There's a lot of changes that I want to see, and hopefully it's an almost unrecognisable starting 11 in comparison to the one we saw on Saturday. That's the only thing I've got to ask for. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I know nothing about our opponents tonight. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Normally I know a bit, and I can waffle on about those facts, but I know nothing. Score prediction, it's tough to know. Um... I reckon it could be high scoring, to be fair, though. I'm going to go for a 3-2 win to Cheltenham. Uh, last time, of course, when we played West Ham under 21, it was a 4-3 win. So uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens this time. But yeah, no score predictions from you guys, because, of course, it is the EFL trophy or the Papa John's trophy, however you want to say it. Uh, but as always, if you do go on to enjoy this match the vlog, please do smash like and subscribe. That would be massively appreciated. We are so, so close. I believe we're like 26 subscribers away at the top of filming this from 1.5k Crazy Sport. Thank you all very much for that. Much appreciated. But yeah, without further ado, let's head down to the ground. Right then, so the lineups are now out. We've got another record broken. Cam Walters. I'm older than him. Fair play to the lads. Unreal opportunity, and hopefully he does well. Uh, Bradbury starts as well, which is good to see. Uh, McDonald as well. Minutes is the main goal here. And you never know, we might see a few few decent performances that give a shout to get some of these players in the start of Melbourne. Fingers crossed that's what we see, but that's the best outcome out of this game. But yeah, decent lineup. Uh, exactly what I want to see, really. But yeah, let's go to kick off. <laughs> Good 
Right then, it's half time. Uh, Chantan won West Ham won. Uh, it's a bit of a difficult one, really, because I think there has been some very, very promising performances. There's also been a few players that are so nearly, are so nearly performing in, in a very good, good calibre, if you like. But just the odd mistake letting them down a bit. I'd say Dan Adshead has been brilliant going forward, but. Two, I think two mistakes of letting go of the ball and keeping hold of it a bit too long uh, has let him down a bit, but that's going to put obviously a negative shared in his performance. But I think he's been pretty decent. Tom Bradbury, very solid. He made one mistake, but he recovered from it and blocked the shot as a result of him uh, missing a tackle, I believe, or losing the ball. I can't remember what it was. Christian Norton's struggling. Um, Charlie Brown's been brilliant. Charlie Brown has been absolutely brilliant. Uh, same for Sambu, Adjulai Sambu. He, he, he looks well at home in that right back position. It's fair to say he looks he looks unnatural, um, which is fantastic to see. Of course, Walters is a bit shaky. I think obviously he's younger than me, so there's going to be nerves there. So who can blame him? He just seems a bit tunnel visioned at the moment in terms of he needs to kind of broaden up his passing a bit because it, some of his passes are taking a few deflections and at, at times losing the ball. So if he can calm down a bit and kind of open up his vision a bit more, then. Should be alright. But yeah, I think on the whole it's been a pretty solid performance. Obviously shame about the goal conceded. But yeah, let's get to the second half. Cobbles. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's a funny goal. He is fast. Right then, lads, that is it for today's match day vlog. Thank you all very much for watching. Struggling to take positives, to be perfectly honest. Other than the youngsters, I thought Sambu was brilliant. I thought Walters was a you know, very good second half, considering you know his age and lack of experience. So fair play to the lad. Uh, he's in the school year below me. So, I mean, that, that just shows that I'm doing something wrong. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I thought I thought the youngsters were all right that played today. I thought Jay Simpson was decent when he came on as well. Um, Dan Adtel, I thought, had a pretty good game. Bradbury had a few hiccups in the second half. Um, but I think first half, he was pretty solid. Um, other than that, to be perfectly honest, I'm, I'm struggling to 
to find any any real positives from that. I think obviously that the, the tactical side may not have been there quite so much tonight because obviously what's the need is mainly for experience, but you still want to try and implement the tactics on the players from a from an early age to let them know that you know you truly mean your style as Wade earlier, and that wasn't there. So it's disappointing to see, but it is what it is. We're through to the next round of the Papa John's Trophy, meaning that we once again have the chance to make some more money and bring some more finances to the club, which is brilliant. So yeah, is what it is. We move and we've got a massive, massive game away at Burton on Saturday. And I pray that we turn up. Please. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do smash like and subscribe. That would be massively, massively appreciated. Have a class just today. And I'll see you on Saturday for Burton away.